back, Road Rants for Black and White Sports. Okay, so we finally had some movement on the next attempt at a spring football league, the XFL. Vince McMahon is bringing the XFL back. He's hired Oliver Luck, Andrew's father, who was a backup quarterback uh, in the 80s in the NFL. There's a couple of major differences between this and the Alliance of American Football, which, by the way, I did watch, actually. Um, I believe I watched probably at least a game a week, and for the first three or four weeks, I watched two, two of their games. Some of the games had some really good, really good quality play. Some of them didn't. The big reason, as with all these leagues, quarterbacks. So what the XFL has done is they have stepped up and said, we are going to give eight premium quarterback contracts, one for every team, and then they will have a draft of players, okay, including backup quarterbacks later. Oliver Luck announced on the Colin Cowherd show on FS1 that they have signed their first quarterback. And that quarterback is former All-American Oklahoma Sooner Landry Jones. When the Steelers drafted Jones, I can tell you right now, they thought he would probably be or could be the heir apparent to Ben Roethlisberger. But what they found out is, one, Ben has held up better than I think they thought he would when they drafted him. Okay. Speaking of, keep a close eye on the Steelers when they get to cut downs because uh, Josh Dobbs and Mason Rudolph are in a battle right now for that backup quarterback position. Not a lot of teams keep three QBs. So one of those two quarterbacks could also end up in the XFL. And I think what you're going to see is they're going to look to sign formerly big-name college quarterbacks or that's had some NFL experience or possibly an NFL quarterback that's had su- some success and then f- taken a step back. I tell you who would have who would probably be fantastic in this league would be Ryan Fitzpatrick if he would go play there. I understand he's literally fighting for a starting quarterback job in the NFL, but I think he could go to a place like the XFL for three or four years and be a star, okay? Now, you may be asking, well, why is this league going to work? Well, number one, they signed with Fox, Fox and FS1. There is a major difference between being on CBS Sports Network, which a lot of providers still don't, uh, give to television viewers and FS1. Everybody's got FS1 now, okay? And Fox will televise games. And if this league understands that the quarterback position is going to be put on a pedestal, then it's got a better chance of working. And they've decided they're not going to be a developmental league for the NFL. No. They want to be their own league professional league that plays during a different time of the year okay and you've got Vince McMahon I think he's learned a lot from his former XFL mistakes and we will see how that works out but Landry Jones is a real good signing here Um, John Matrix and myself was talking about different quarterbacks that could uh, sign I don't know that they're going to give Colin Kaepernick the kind of money that he wants but Make no mistake, political beliefs aside, Kaepernick is should be starting in the NFL right now. Okay, I don't agree with his protesting, and that's a video for another day. But I'm a 49ers fan. I watched every game that Kaepernick ever played. He is absolutely a starting quarterback in the NFL. Uh, but I understand why teams don't want to sign him. I don't think the XFL is going to pay enough, even on a premium contract, for Colin Kaepernick to go play there, okay? And I don't know that Vince wants him, okay? But you do have to have some name recognition. I could see Johnny Manziel showing up. Uh, I've heard that they maybe have made a run at Tim Tebow. Uh, John Matrix thinks he, he, he wouldn't be able to play in that league. I disagree. I think he would be extremely serviceable as a, you know, as a XFL quarterback if they run install the right system for for him. Uh, ground and pound team. 
Um, I'm sure you're going to see guys like Trent Richardson probably signed to this league. Blake Bortles is another name that had some NFL success that I could absolutely see ending up in this league. Paxton Lynch is in a battle up in Seattle for the uh, backup quarterback. Keep an eye out on him. Former big-name college quarterback. So, we will see. I believe the XFL has some potential. If they've put a premium on getting better quarterback play, and they've said, we're not going to be a developmental league for the NFL. Also, their college uh, outlook is they will allow players, for example, sophomores out of college, to sign in that league. So if you're a big-time college player and you feel like you can play in the pros, but the NFL won't let you go there because you've got to be three years out of high school, the XFL does not have that rule. Okay? So remember when Mike Williams came out early and that actually backfired on him years ago. But Mike Williams, after he matured, for about a three or four-year span, turned into a pretty decent NFL wide receiver, but he never lived up to the potential that everybody thought. Everybody thought he was the next Terrell Owens. He should have played tight end, really and truly, because he just got too big. You tell me what you think in the comments section, black and white sports fans, about the XFL. Will it work? Will it fail? How important is it to have a premium on the quarterback position? I think it is everything. You have to have solid, watchable quarterback play. Peace them out. Till next time.